Today we're going to be talking about circles and circumference. So, okay, there's a lot of vocab in this. So a circle is the set, a circle is the set of all points in a plane equidistant from a given point called the center. So I have my center here of my circle C. Typically they tell us it's a center by putting a little dot in it. And every point on this circle, so I actually I'm going to, every point on the circle, I'm gonna try and trace it as best I can, is a point on circle C. And we would de denote that circle C. The radius, the radius of the circle is from the center to a point on the circle. So in this case, that's CF. A chord is a segment with the endpoints on the circle. So it's not a diameter. So AB is a chord. It doesn't go through the center. And then our diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. So DE is a diameter. Okay, identify each of the following. I just kind of laid this out on the last example. So I think a good test for you is maybe pause the video, try it on your own, and then see if you have it correct. So the circle, we have circle E. Okay, the center has a little dot. A radius, a couple answers for that. You could have had BE, you could have had segment ED. A chord doesn't go through the center, so that is segment AC, and then a diameter is segment BD. Okay, for RT, if RT is 21, what is the length of QV? So the diameters of the circle are all congruent. So RT consists of two radii. So the whole thing is 21. And each one of the radii is congruent, so that splits this diameter in half. So this is 10.5, this is 10.5. All the radii of a circle are congruent, so QV is 10.5, half the diameter. Okay, circles. Two circles are congruent if they have congruent radii. All circles are similar because just of how they are. Concentric circles are coplanar circles with the same center. So meaning that they have the same center here, okay? So just some fun different things. Concentric circles, I think of the target symbol or target or a bullseye, okay? All of those are concentric circles. Okay, example three. The diameter of Circle X is 22 units. The diameter of circle Y is 16 units, and WZ is five units. We need to find XY. We need to find the length of this whole segment. Okay, this is five units. This whole length here, this di the diameter of circle X is 22. So that length is 11, leaving me six here because 11 minus five. The diameter of circle Y is 16, so that segment length is eight. 
Eight minus five is three. So I have six plus five plus three. That equals 14 units long. Circumference. We actually did this formula back in chapter one. The circumference equals the diameter times pi or twice the radius times pi. Okay, so crop circles, a series of crop circles were discovered in Alberta, Canada on September 4th, 1999. The largest of the three circles has a radius of 30 feet. Find its circumference. Circumference equals two pi r. Circumference equals two pi times 30, which is 60 pi feet. And I want you guys leaving things in terms of pi. Find the diameter and the radius of a circle to the nearest hundredth if the circumference of the circle is 65.4 feet. So my circumference is 65.4 feet. So pi times my diameter is 65.4 divide by pi and please use the pi button on your calculator that second and the exponent button so i get my diameter to be let's run to one decimal place 20.8 feet my radius is half of that i don't know why i had to do that in my calculator i didn't trust myself i don't know why i had to, i don't know why i did that Okay, a polygon that is inscribed in a circle is if all vertices lie on the circle. So L, M, N, and P, all the vertices lie on that, lie on that circle. So we could say that L, L, M, and P is inscribed in the circle. A circle is circumscribed about a polygon if it contains all the vertices of a polygon. Okay, so L, M, N, P. You can also have a polygon. I'm gonna try my best here to draw this. That is circumscribed about a circle. So that polygon, I'm gonna call it A, B, C, D, is circumscribed about our circle X. Okay, number six. Find the exact circumference of circle K. So, I have circle K here. I have kind of a triangle that's happening here. And we know that all the radii are congruent. So that's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. I'm actually recording a bunch of these videos at one time and I recorded the 45, 45, 90 triangle video yesterday, last night. So here, Remember, that's root two, this is one, this is one in every 45, 45, 90 triangle. So three root two over root two equals, okay, I'm looking for the radius, I'm gonna call it X over one. Well, that left side simplifies to X, the right side simplifies to three, so I know my radius is three, the exact circumference. That's a fancy way of math teachers saying, 
in terms of pi. So remember our circumference is 2 pi r. Circumference is 2 pi times 3. Circumference is 6 pi. Okay, that is my video on circles and circumference. Thanks for watching.